Prime Minister worked hard to open up markets for Saskatchewan uranium in places where we didn't have a market. So we are, we're certainly grateful for that. You're going to be pushing for some kind of a federal provincial summit soon in the game now, something that hasn't happened over many years. Well, whether or not the Premiers meet with the Prime Minister is one thing. I do think you'll see us in Saskatchewan and arguably other Western Canadians advocating with the new government that we put a priority on moving our markets, our products to market. You know, the energy industry obviously has been hit very hard by the price crash. You have not heard that sector call for bailouts. You haven't heard governments... Because they get so many subsidies all the time. And you won't. What we simply want is the chance to move it across Canada, to get it to Tidewater, potentially to replace foreign imports to Canada in terms of oil. We want that for the energy products, and we're... Certainly Saskatchewan's going to be pushing and pressing the new government to ratify, to approve the TPP, which is a unique opportunity for the West, a unique opportunity for Canada... To censor the internet. ...of the products that we have to market to this, to these 12 countries that represent such a large percentage of world GDP. It's a huge deal for us from an agricultural standpoint, from a manufacturing standpoint. So these are two issues that we'll certainly have on the table with the new government from a Western Canadian perspective and from a Saskatchewan perspective. You know, Saskatchewan people, Western Canadians, like the fact that over the last number of years we've been able to be net contributors to the Federation. We want to keep doing that. We want to... We want to continue to contribute economically, and in order to do that, we need access to markets. We need those tariffs to come down. That's what the TPP represents. Oh, wow. And we Liberals jumped up in the north ahead. actually move our product in a sustainable way across Canada. And so They're ahead by like 20 votes us, uh, in the north in the days ahead. So you think of Saskatchewan. Luck with the pipeline. Certainly no development on that uh, in the last few years with the with the Harper government. And I just have to ask you, you know, a uh, little bird tells me that you have been taking French lessons, so I'm asking everyone A hundred votes? Any chance you're interested in throwing your Weir has a chance still there is a conservative leadership race. I am not taking oh, French lessons. Okay. The, the job, Lisa, the job that I want, well, I have the job I want right now, but if there were to be another job I wanted, it's Don Martin's gig. What do you mean, six months of the year, an hour a day? It's power play. That's uh, I don't the job think, we should I don't do. think you'd want Don Martin's job tonight. He is at uh, Harper headquarters in Calgary. I'm just saying. You might want Craig Oliver's job tonight because he's at Liberal headquarters. Brad Wall, great to speak with you. Thanks so much for taking time out on this historic election tonight uh, to talk to us. But Bob, that's interesting to hear him say, you know, TPP, we still don't have the document, um, but it was the blanket refusal of TPP by NDP leader Tom Mulcair that Brad Wall came well, out and basically told the, the liberals, were, liberals were very careful not mm -hmm. to oppose TPP. The, uh, they, there's this uh, G20 meeting and APEC yeah. meeting. And I TPP think the wind doesn't have to do with that. Prime Minister Trudeau will be going there uh, and he will support TPP. And it's simply too large of a trade agreement for us not to participate in as a country. So I'm, I'm obviously very hopeful that the, the incoming government moves forward, ratifies it. In terms of the agreement, obviously, we need the other 12, 11 partners uh, to release the text of the document. And now we hear... Uh, oh, See in the north here? Word on, uh, well, it's not the he has a chance. Word, obviously, but Elizabeth May is now leading uh, by a sizable lead in Saanich Gulf Islands. We're going to go to... With 10 uh, poles of 240? Craig Oliver. That could I change, said, but not likely. The uh, Trudeau headquarters in Montreal at the Queen Elizabeth Hotel. Uh, Craig, I'm sure there... Oh, there you are with Jerry Butts. So tell us what you, what he's got to say tonight. Hi, Jerry. Yeah. I'm with Jerry Butts here, who is the principal secretary to Mr. Trudeau. 